Nigerian authorities say more than two million people have been affected by flooding in the north. There are growing concerns about shortages of food and shelter. VOA correspondent Scott Stearns has more. Two weeks of flooding in Nigeria's northern Jigawa state have covered nearly 9,000 hectares of farmland, destroying crops just before harvest without enough time to plant again this year. In the village of Rinjim, farmer Nasir Awada says he's lost everything. All our farms and food were destroyed and we already have problems. We don't have anything to eat. We're forced to go search for food and to work hard to get it. Flooding in Jigawa has displaced nearly 50,000 families, some of whom now live in school classrooms. Others sleep on high ground along the road. Jigawa Governor Sule Lamidu says the worst of the damage came after floodgates were opened on the Chalawa and Tiga dams in neighboring Kano State. Somehow, somebody was caught napping, to be honest, because, like I say, you know, it had been there for the last 25 years, so there must have been a kind of database upon which the pattern of the waters in which particular month it comes in and the required you know, gradual release over a period of thought so that you know it will not in any way affect you know the, 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 the area where this river flows. Authorities responsible for the dams say they did not open those floodgates. Once the reservoirs fill, water flows into a spillway on the other side of the dam. Authorities in Kano say the water that's passed during this rainy season is not enough to have caused such devastation in Jigawa, where sources of water are contaminated and health authorities are on the lookout for cases of cholera. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Dakar.